Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. When we start reverse engineering, normally we place the part in the right position, as you can see on the screen, and then we start our modeling. In this particular case, I started with a profile here, which has been revoked, and then I reconstruct the solid body. If we take a look at the sketch, we've done our best, and everything looks perfect and this is what we call design intent. We set some um, perfect lines, some dimensions, and this is what we achieve now as a cut model. So at the moment we would like to say that our object is what we need. So this is the perfect cut model, but here it's the time to speak about accurate reverse engineering how we can achieve uh, the best results. At the moment we achieved our best cut model and we have the underlying uh, mesh and of course we want to see how good we are in respect to the reference mesh. So we press the compare button and then we see our deviations. In this case I see how the mesh is positioned with, against the <coughs> cut model and here is to make some uh, conclusions. Maybe the part is um, not aligned very well, or maybe the part is um, deformed. So this probably is the reason. But at the moment we provide some tools that will help you to achieve both the accurate uh, modeling and the uh, best accuracy for your reverse engineering. And I'll show you what I mean with this. In the Align button, we have something which is called final line a reference mesh. If you start this function, it will give you an option for the search tolerance. What is this search tolerance? Is that it creates an envelope around the CAD model and everything which is within this number will be taken into account to um, optimize the position of the mesh. Why I say this is that maybe it you model only a part of a bottle here or then the shank which is not being modeled we don't want this to be used so that's why this uh, parameter is used and if i press uh, ok the software automatically will actually move the reference mesh without affecting our reconstructed results and as we can see now we can compare and we see that we achieved much way better results and the mesh is uh, closer to the cut model without any modification of the, um, our design. Even more, what we can do is that we can actually take some areas of our scan data which are more important than the other, and the way we do this is using our mesh selection tool. In this case, I will just take the top area of my object. Also, I can probably take the cylinder here and I'll select some areas on the top. In this case, we can use again the same function, which is called final line reference mesh. But what happens is that quick surface uses only the selected areas to apply this optimization. And I can press OK. As we can see now, the data has moved in a different way because it used only these priority surfaces. So you can see now that we achieved much better results and we are away within the tolerance for the surfaces that we want. And just another example, it's um, which we reconstructed here, is this uh, watch. We started with a um, mesh which has been uh, placed accurately into space and we ended up with our perfect um, cut model. But again, if we explore the results, we see that there are some deviations here and we always, it's good, it's recommended that at the end of your process, you just apply this final alignment of the reference mesh to see the best results. In this case, I will take my priority surfaces here, like this one, because these are probably more important for me than the other surfaces. And then I can use my final line reference mesh option. Here I can probably put a 0.5 millimeters 
and then I can press OK. Now the software optimizes the position, and if I compare, I will see that I achieved much better results. I hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching.